Hello everybody, this is my solid state Bellini running at 5 kilohertz. This is the, the coil connected to the, the multimeter that measures the frequency. Uh, this is the, the wave I have um, in the coil, 20 microseconds per division. The coil is on during 80 microseconds. Uh, the pike is about 28 volt. And this is the input current. Right now I'm using uh, 13, 12 volts in, in voltage. And this is my output current during the recharging of these batteries. So, what I want to show is that if I put 60, 16 milliamps uh, in the system, and I have 20 or 30 or 30 uh, milliamps in the output, we, I expect, have 50 percent uh, uh, of the current uh, stored in the in these batteries. So what I detect is that I have more more power stored in the batteries when I made the discharge. This power is, I think, is given by the radiant energy. So, I think this is what System Bedini does. Uh, if we have, for example, 100% in the end, and we have uh, eighty percent stored in the batteries of the, the input core and of the input power, but we are charging the batteries with fifty percent. What's going on here? We have a COP more than one. I think uh, with these measurements um, and with this system, we have no problems to measure the output current because we, are, we don't have the, the rotor with the magnet would produce a wave of AC current that may, makes the, um, uh, the multimeters go digital multimeters goes crazy. With this, we could measure the output current. So, if we don't have Ah, uh, the pulse uh, signal to the base to the um, transistor of the transistor is made by this generator of signal, and uh, right now, this is what I want to show and comment to you. Okay, thank you.